Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Abir and I have with me Ashtar Sharma. We are SPAC and OSTG team to demonstrate the concept of Evolved Programmable Network EPN, a convert, virtualized and programmable network. Service providers and their customers spend hefty amount of money for network provisioning and management. Existing tool and method require truck roll and it adds up cost in operational expenses. The goal of this demo is to demonstrate the EPN operational simplicity expert which involves Various technologies like autonomic networking, auto IP, Y1564, and Y1731. Before we move forward, let's look at each window showing on a screen and understand the purpose of each window. The top left window showing the network topology used for this topology. The bottom left window shows a router console screen to configure the autonomic registrar and see the console messages. As we all can see that initially there is no configuration on any router. Lastly, the top right window shows an app GUI interface and SDN controller where we can see the status of different operations. All fields will be crossed in the beginning and will be updated dynamically after the completion of each operation. As you can see on the screen, everything is crossed. Finally, SDN controller will show the network topology and nodes learned on a controller. Initially, there will be nothing on the screen because we haven't learned anything yet. Let's start configuring the autonomic feature. Before we start configuration, first understand what is autonomic is. Autonomic feature, autonomic networking is for network provisioning, that, that is network discovery, configuration download and image download. We just need to configure few commands on autonomic registrar only to provision the whole network. Registrar will automatically start the bootstrap process with its neighbor. It will exchange the UDI information, autonomic hellos and provide the domain certificate. Once the no, domain certificate will be exchanged, the device will automatically be added in autonomic domain. After the completion of bootstrap process, the ACP channel will be formed. An ACP channel is an IPsec tunnel formed between devices in order to securely uh, transfer the information from one node to another node. After the bootstrap process will be completed, Autonomic will discover the whole network and learn the customer topology and we will see all the network nodes will be the part of Autonomic domain. As you can see on the screen, we have already discovered three devices in the network and you can see the different console messages for device allowed and certificates. Next, autonomic service discovery will be configured on the registrar to talk to TFTP server and SDN controller to download the configuration for each node of a network. This process will take few minutes to download the configuration from server for each node of a network. As you can see on the screen, we have already configured two interfaces, one for service discovery to download the configuration and one for data plane. The data plane will be used to update the app and download the image. Image download will not be supported on a control plane. Once the configuration and image will be downloaded to the each node, the device will be ready to talk to app and SDN controller. The EM script has written inside the configuration to update the SDN controller and app dynamically. All devices configured and image download status will be shown on app table and ODL controller will discover network topology automatically. As you can see on the screen, after the image and config download, you can see the different host name and whole new configuration and this is true for all other devices you will see 53 54 all has now new host name and new configuration the app will take some time to update a table to show the operation status of each devices the reason is we are dynamically updating the app after every 20 seconds now you can see in a table we have two devices status already available the next few devices status will be available soon now you can see only one device is showing cross the reason is that device will be added later using the auto ip feature in the ring
now you can see in the in the controller after the, the configuration will be downloaded em script will trigger the the controller to add the device in the to add a device in the controller when the device will be added in the controller the all the devices with one pk enabled will be shown on a network you can now match the network discovered on a controller with the actual network topology next we will insert the pre-configured node in an existing auto ip ring that is for me3655 auto ip is a feature we will use, which we will use to insert or remove the node from the ring the newly added node will automatically get the IP address because of auto IP feature configured in a ring. After getting the IP address, the node will be reachable to the servers and it will automatically update the status on app and the dis device will be discovered automatically on the SGN controller. This process again takes some minutes, few minutes to update the table. Once the table will be updated, you will see the IP address will be provisioned to device controller will be connected and SDN will be ready and later we will see the nodes will be discovered automatically on the controller now you can see the new status on the table next we are we will see the node learn the newly added nodes learn which is 55 you can see on the left hand side and now the node new node will be added once all the devices are ready with the right configuration and image, service provider normally run Y1731 and Y1564 tests to check the end-to-end -end connectivity and measure the network performance matrix that is throughput, loss, delay, jitter in the network. We are also running the same test between 54 and 56. We have L2 VPN pseudo wire tunnel. We will measure the throughput over the tunnel. We have same thing with six different service rates and shaping the and we are also shaping the traffic at 50 Mbps so that we can simulate the network of 50 Mbps throughput. This process again take a minute to basically start the test and grab the information from the routers. The reason of taking one minute is that we have six different service rates each service rate of 10 second step size as you can see on the screen graph and tables are showing throughput of 50 mbps in the network loss of zero we have latency delay of 9 microsecond jitter of zero in microsecond because they are directly connected fiber link and the jitter will be in a second that is all we have today i hope you like the demonstration thank you for watching the demo have a great day